Everyone and everything has a story. Today, let's look at the story of Charminar. The Charminar is to Hyderabad what the Taj Mahal is to Agra or the Eiffel Tower to Paris. This towering monument come mosque with four minarets and open arches boasts of a history of over 400 years and stands as the finest example of the city's heritage and architectural legacy. Located in the heart of Hyderabad, it remains surrounded by a lively marketplace and is a top attraction for travelers visiting the city. The Charminar is certainly one of those heritage structures you must explore as a session of sightseeing. Let's take a look at the history of Charminar. The fifth ruler of the Khutub Shahi dynasty, Muhammad Khuli Khutub Shah, built the Charminar in 1591 after shifting his capital from Golconda to the newly formed city of Hyderabad. The Archaeological Survey of India is the current caretaker of the structure. It mentions in its records, there are various theories regarding the purpose for which Charminar was constructed. However, it is widely accepted that Charminar was built at the center of the city to commemorate the eradication of plague, a deadly disease which was widespread at that time. The Charminar was constructed at the intersection of the historical trade route that connects the city to international markets through the port of Machlipatnam. The old city of Hyderabad was designed with Charminar as its centerpiece. The city was spread around the Charminar in four different quadrants and chambers, segregated according to the established settlements. Towards the north of Charminar is the Char Kaman, or four gateways, constructed in the cardinal direction. Additional eminent architects from Persia were also invited to develop the city plan. The structure itself was intended to serve as a mosque and madrasa. It is of Indo-Islamic architectural style, incorporating Persian architectural elements. A sample of Charminar is said to have been created at the Birpura graveyard before the actual construction. Historian Masood Hussein Khan says that the construction of Charminar was completed in the year 1592 and that it is the city of Hyderabad which was actually founded in the year 1591. According to the book Days of the Beloved, Khutub Shah constructed the Charminar in the year 1589 on the very spot where he first glimpsed his future queen, Bhagmati. And after her conversion to Islam, Khutub Shah renamed the city as Hyderabad. Though the story was rejected by the historians and scholars, it became popular folklore among the locals. Khutub Shah was also among the early poets of Dakhani Urdu. While laying the foundation for Charminar, it is said he performed the prayers in Dakhani couplets which are recorded as follows. Fill the city of mine with people as you have filled the river with fishes, O Lord. Let's take a look at some interesting facts about the Charminar. During the Mughal governorship between Khutub Shahi and Asif Jahi rule, the southwestern minaret fell to pieces after being struck by lightning and was repaired at a cost of rupees 60,000. In 1824, the monument was replastered at a cost of rupees 1 lakh. Do you know the great geometry combinations and mathematical reasoning has gone into the construction of Charminar? Visitors are usually astounded by the beauty of the 16th century monument, but not many know the number char, or 4, and its multiples figure in the designing of the structure. In at least 22 spots, the magic of the number four dazzles. The main minars and arches are four. So are the small arches decorated on each side of the main arch. The number of galleries built in each minar at different levels is four. Again, each minar is divided into four parts. The supporting arches to galleries and main dome in each minar are four. 
The number of entrance arches built in four directions to enter the Minar is also four. The Charminar Masjid is a square structure with each side being 20 meters, approximately 66 feet long. Each of the four sides has one of four grand arches, each facing a fundamental point that opens directly onto the street in front of it. At each corner stands an exquisitely shaped 56 meter high, approximately 184 feet minaret with a double balcony. Each minaret is crowned by a bulbous dome with dainty, petal-like designs at the base. Unlike the minarets of Taj Mahal, Charminar's four fluted minarets are built into the main structure. There are 149 winding steps to reach the upper floor. The structure is also known for its profusion of stucco decorations and the arrangement of balustrades and balconies. The structure is made of granite, limestone, mortar and pulverized marble weighing approximately 14,000 tons. Initially, the monument was so proportionately planned that when the fort first opened, one could see all four corners of the bustling city of Hyderabad through each of its four grand arches as each arch faced one of the most active royal ancestral streets. A mosque is located at the west end of the open roof. The remaining section of the roof served as a royal court during the Khutub Shahi times. The actual mosque occupies the top floor of the four-story structure. A vault, which appears from inside like a dome, supports two galleries within the Charminar, one over another. Above those is a terrace that serves as a roof that is bordered with a stone balcony. The main gallery has 45 covered prayer spaces with a large space in front to accommodate more people for Friday prayers. The clock on the four cardinal directions was added in 1889. There is a vazu in the middle of a fountain for ablution before prayers in the Charminar Mosque. Charminar along with the Khutub Shahi monuments of Hyderabad, the Golconda Fort and the Khutub Shahi tombs were included in the tentative list of UNESCO World Heritage Site. The monument was submitted by the permanent delegation of India to UNESCO on September 10, 2010. If you've enjoyed the content, consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.